Hi guys and welcome to this video. Firstly, I'd like to start by saying sorry. And that's because I haven't made any videos for around about three to four weeks. It's because I've been really poorly, but I feel lots better now. So everything is going to resume as it usually did. So that means there should be a video around about every single week. Now today's video is all about what I think, and this is just my opinion, so don't take this as fact, but what I think is potentially the best kit lens ever. And that lens is this right here. It's the Canon 24 through to 105 RF hourglass lens. Now you might be thinking, hourglass, is that really a kit lens? Well, actually it is because it came along with my Canon EOS RP and this was the kit lens which accompanied it. So it is a kit lens and it's an incredible kit lens at that. So why do I think this is potentially the best kit lens ever? Well, firstly, in my experience, I've never shot with another lens, a uh, kit lens for that, which is as sharp as this and is as good quality. So straight away, in my experience, I've never experienced a better lens or a better kit lens. Does that mean there's not other lenses out there which I haven't tried? Of course not. And that's why I said it's in my opinion. But I've certainly scoured the internet and different reviews to see if anything, you know, is as good as this. And I haven't found anything yet which potentially rivals this lens. Now I'm gonna talk about a few of the features uh, quickly, why it's so good. So let's talk about the focal length. It's 24 through to 105 millimeters. So you've got a long or you've got a wide amount of focal length there. Now you've also got an incredibly sharp lens here and it's not just sharp in certain parts of the lens. You find this with a lot of lenses. You'll get a certain focal length which is a lot sharper than other focal lengths. In the case of this lens, I've tested it and it's equally as incredibly sharp from 24 through to 105 millimeters. But don't just take my word for it. Have a look at these pictures. This is 24 millimeters and I've just took a really kind of boring picture of a book here, but I wanted to try and show you how sharp this lens is. If we just zoom into the book, you can see, now this is completely un unedited. This is straight out of camera. You can see how sharp crisp this lens is. Now let's swap this for 105 millimeters. I'm not gonna take a picture of every single focal length, but you can see also at the, at the furthest end of this lens at 105 millimeters, it's equally as sharp. That's the one reason why I think this lens is so incredible. It's how sharp it is. It really is crazily sharp. Now, another thing about this lens, which I really like, if you shoot Canon, you might be aware that most of the bodies don't have image stabilization built in, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but what they try and do now with their new range of RF lenses is they try and push up the optical um, image stabilization, which they've definitely done in this lens. You've got five stops of image stabilization, which means you can shoot as low as one over 15 and still get a really sharp image which is great because I've been used to shooting at a one over 125 at my lowest base point and never going below that because if I did, I always run the risk of it being out of focus. So when you've got a lens which is f4, which this is, which we'll talk about that in a minute, then you obviously haven't got the lowest aperture, which means you're not able to get as much light in your lens. So I can now drop down my shutter speed and then kind of pull back some of that light which I'll lose in the aperture, which is great news. Also, let's talk about the F4. Yes, it is F4, and it's F4 from 24 through to 105 all the way through, which is not as low as you would experience with a lot of, let's say, prime lenses, or you'll also get zoom lenses at 2.8. But you're still able to achieve some really impressive bokeh and also some really nice background blur. So you may be thinking that it would be a huge difference, but there really is not that much difference at all. And another thing is, I don't think pretty much any kit lenses come lower than f4. And, and if I'm wrong on that, please leave me a comment down below. I'd like to know, but that's just in my experience. So this lens is definitely an amazing lens. Do I know for sure if it's the best kit lens out there? No, I don't. But just in my opinion, and of course everyone's got an opinion, I think this is definitely the best kit lens or one of them on the market right now. 
Now I will say one thing, if you're buying this lens on its own, then it's gonna be quite pricey. And the lowest price you'll find it for is about 800 pound. But most places are retailing at about a thousand plus. So it's quite an expensive lens on its own. But then if you buy it as part of the kit, which I did, you're gonna save a lot of money. I bought this camera and also this lens together for 1,500 pound. And by working it out, I actually saved about 250 pound on this lens, which is a huge bargain. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video all about the Canon RF 24 to 105 millimeter lens. There is actually one thing I'm gonna mention about this lens, which I probably wasn't gonna say, but it is an incredible little feature which is not on any other kit lens out there that I'm aware of. And that is this little rotating uh, kind of dial here. Now what this does is it enables you to customize a setting like ISO, shutter speed, aperture, whatever it is. And then you can just twist this around and change it when you're photographing, which is brilliant because I would imagine in things like portrait photography and wedding photography, you can just quickly change between your settings like that and then you're not kind of switching between things here, which is gonna take a little bit longer. That's just something else I wanted to add to this really, really impressive lens. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's short video on the Canon RF 24 to 105 millimeter lens. And I will be making videos every single week, like I said, from now on, so look out for them. And if you're new here and it's your first day arriving on the channel, please hit subscribe and I'd love to have you join the growing uh, community of photographers here at Ben's Guide and to be able to watch future videos in the future. Okay guys, whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.